So today I'm gonna to show you the settings that you need to set in Adobe Premiere to be able to export your video to be ready to post on Instagram. Let's jump in. All right, so we're in Adobe Premiere here. And obviously if you've shot the video on your phone and you're getting ready to post it onto Instagram directly from your phone, your phone already takes care of a lot of these settings for you. But if you brought the footage into Adobe Premiere, you did some editing, added some text, whatever the case is, and now you wanna export it, I'm gonna show you the settings that you can use in a couple of different ways to get there, depending on what you're working on. Let's take a look at a video that's already in the vertical format. This is a video that I wanna post as a reel. So we can select that video and this could be an existing timeline. This could be a just the file that you have, whatever the case is. And we're just going to take that. We're going to drag that down to the new sequence setting down here. And you can see what it does is it already matches to this vertical format. Okay. Now, this is great for reels or stories or things like that and to get that in there. Basically what it does is it creates the sequence based on the information that it's getting from that video. So this video is already formatted in the correct ways, so we're ready to go. Something else I'm gonna show you here while we're in this section is I just wanna go up to the workspace option. This is something they added not that long ago. And you now have a vertical workspace which you can click on that and it just reorganizes your panels to be specific to working on a vertical format. And I, I like using this because it kind of gives you fuller frame visual of this rather than have it too wide. Obviously this is all adjustable. This is pretty close. There's a few things we're gonna dial in just a little bit closer. So you right click on this sequence there, you go to sequence settings. And first thing we're gonna go up here and, and make sure we're on custom because we're gonna be changing some of these things. Although they do have some presets in there depending on how the footage is coming in. But for this, we're gonna change this to 30 frames per second. So it has the frame sa size set based on the video that I'm importing as 1080 by 1920. And if you wanna keep it in this vertical format, I would recommend going 1080 by 1350, okay? which just creates that four by five aspect ratio in there. And then we're gonna leave everything else sort of the way that it is and click okay. And it's gonna tell you that it's going to change the preview files that's already been rendered for that video, which is what we want. So you click okay and you can see it changed this frame size. Now, if that doesn't match with what you want, you can go up to the motions here and you can see we have a lot more headroom here so we can get this adjusted exactly the way we want it, okay? Now the other method to adjust the settings is before you import the video. So maybe the video is, is a wide format and you, you know you wanna do it in a square format. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down to the new item, we're gonna go new sequence, and what's nice is they have these presets. You can obviously add a custom, but we could go down to social and you can see they have portrait, they have four by five, they have nine by 16. And what we want is we want this square one by one. All right. And you can change the name of this. Let's change it to square post. Okay. Click okay. And now we have that and you can see this is the square format. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this video and bring it down in here, which was in a, a widescreen format. I'm gonna bring that in there. And you have two options. It's gonna ask you to convert it to the settings of the video or keep the current settings that we just set. We wanna keep the existing settings, okay? So let me just chop this down, just make it, okay? Once again, we can go in here and we just click on this go to motion and we can move this around however we want. Maybe I wanna zoom it in a little bit more. And you can fill that frame however you desire. And again, we're doing this really quick. So you can see some of my captions are sort of cut off there. Okay, and then you adjust it how you want and now you've got the video formatted for the square format. When you are exporting the video, you just click up here to export want to make sure that our format is selecting H.264 and then you want to go to presets and you want to select custom and of course you can set the name your destination where you want this file to save make a couple of more tweaks we're going to go to video 
and we want to change so we got the frame size we got the so we want to make sure that's on 30 but we already set this in the sequence but you have the option to change this now if you would like as well okay once you have all those set you can either export it directly in premiere or send it to your adobe encoder if you have multiple videos that you're trying to render we're just going to export this this way it'll save the file and once it finishes rendering then you have a video that you are confident that all the settings are optimized for instagram i hope this video helped you out and i'll see you in the next one